Hi, it's Becky. There were some questions about the side menu I created for one of David Anderson's challenges a while back, so I thought I'd provide an answer. You can see that initially six panels are shown. As the instructions suggest, you can click on any one of them for more information. I'll do that now so you can see the side menu. But before I do, a heads up that the side menu looks like a thumbnail of these six panels. So the magician hat and explanation has come in. You could click on this X to get back to the main menu and choose another hat. But I wanted to give you a quicker way to access that other hat, so I added this list button, which, when clicked, displays the side menu. And there it is. You can see it closely resembles the main slide. You can click again to hide the menu and click again to display it. From here, you can access any of the other layers. Now, for how it was done, I'll click on one of the layers. So if I click on the side menu, you can see in the timeline that it's actually a PNG file, some call that a ping, that's been inserted onto each layer. To create the ping, I inserted a black rectangle sized to maintain the same ratio as the storyline slide. Then, as on the base layer, I inserted six light blue rectangles to make up the six squares, and I inserted the head images over the blue rectangles. All of these objects were saved out as the ping, which, as I said, was inserted into each of the layers. Also note that the initial state of the menu is hidden. I inserted hotspots over each of the icons. I'd hidden them for the screencast so you could see the blue rectangles, so I'll unhide them now so you can see them. You can see in the trigger panel that triggers were created for each hotspot, so when you click, the layer associated with that hat appears. The list button is a storyline button with the list icon. When the button is clicked, a trigger changes the menu to normal. Another trigger changes the menu to hidden when the list button is clicked if the button state is equal to not selected. So these two triggers toggle the menu on and off. And I believe that pretty much does it. If you have any questions, be sure to shout out in the Articulate community where I'll post this story.